Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to be talking about the heart rate tracking options on your Casio G-Shock Module QW3475 watch. Now everything I'm going to be showing you is going to be on the watch today. This is a smart watch. You can connect, uh, you can go to your cell phone and as long as you've got it connected to your watch you can make these same settings on your cell phone and simply sync the changes over to the watch. So there's some people out there that are really into tracking their heart rate. There's some people who buy the watch because it's a G-Shock. They think it's cool, but they're more into preserving battery life and they don't care about the heart rate too much. I'm going to show you your different options for this watch. So first and foremost, let's go look at my watch. I have my heart rate set to always on. You've got three different options, basically. One of them is the heart rate is only being measured whenever you're doing a running activity. And the way you would do that is by pressing this middle button on the left-hand side. That'll take you into the run activity. The other option is 24, basically always on. It means as long as the watch is on your wrist, it will have the heart rate sensor on and it will be tracking your heart rate. And then the last option is going to be off. Now, off doesn't mean that it's really off, but what it means is that the heart rate will not be, the heart rate sensor will not be tracking your information unless you go into the heart rate mode. And we'll look at all that real quick. First and foremost, I'm gonna press the display button up here and I'm gonna to toggle my display to show my heart rate. So we can see from my main timekeeping mode, I've got my time here. I've got this little icon down here in the bottom that shows a heart. That tells you right away whether or not you have heart rate tracking always on or not. So I knew mine was always on, but I can also look at this display and see my current heart rate, my max heart rate for uh, the day, as well as my minimum heart rate for the day. This is what it will look like if you have the heart rate tracking always on. The other thing you can do, however, is you can press the mode button and that will take you into the heart rate mode. And again, you're going to see kind of the same information. My current heart rate, you don't see my minimum or my maximum, just my current heart rate and the time and my battery level down here. If I press the display button though, I can toggle my display and I can see my heart rate, again my max for the day, my minimum for the day, and I've got this little bar, or I should say line graph down here that shows what my heart has been doing for the last 24 hours. If you want to change your heart rate sensor options while you're in the heart rate mode, we are going to press and hold the top left button, the display button. That will take you into your settings for your heart rate. You can see that mine was set to always on. I can use either the up, which is display, or the bottom, or the down button, which is your mode button down here on the bottom. And you can choose any value you want. This is the value I was saying earlier, run only for tracking your heart rate, off or always on. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn it off you're gonna choose by pressing the run button to confirm your change, but you'll notice that it puts me back in my heart rate mode and it's still tracking my heart rate. That's because I said you really can't turn it off as long as you're in your heart rate mode, it'll always have your sensor on, but you'll notice if I press the back button and go back to my main watch face, it's no longer tracking my heart rate. You'll also notice that that icon is no longer on the bottom of my watch. It's because I don't have heart rate tracking set to always on. So. My sensor is not on on the back. It's not tracking my heart rate at all. However, if I wanted to go take a heart rate reading, all I have to do is press the mode button one time. It will take me into my heart rate mode. Now what it's doing now is it's having to turn on that sensor and start reading my wrist heart rate because I had it turned off. And you can see it's doing that now. So it's kind of a nice setting for those who, you don't want it tracking all day long, but every now and then you might go into the mode and see what your heart rate's doing, that would be what the off setting is for. If you really wanna track your heart rate, you wanna be able to see it at all times on your watch face, set the heart rate to always on. I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and press back, get to my main watch face, and those are our different options for heart rate tracking on our Casio G-Shock QW3475 watch. I hope the video helps and makes sense. Thanks for watching.